graphing quadratics using a table. So let's say we're asked to use a table to graph a parabola of y equals negative x squared minus 2x. So quadratics will form a parabola or U shape and we're given a table and we're given x values. Now there are other ways to, to graph quadratics like line of symmetry and vertex but in this case, we're given a table and it's already given us x values. So we can take these x values, put them into the quadratic equation, find points, and then graph on a coordinate plane. So let's look at how that would look. So we have an x of negative 3. So I'm going to take my quadratic equation, replace x with negative 3. So I have negative, negative 3 squared, minus 2 times negative 3. Negative 3 squared is 9, times negative 1, negative 9. Negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. Negative 9 plus 6 is negative 3. So my first ordered pair is negative 3, negative 3. Now I'm going to work my way down my table. I now have an x of negative 2. Let's use our same quadratic equation. This time we're going to replace the x with negative 2. So I have negative, negative 2 squared minus 2 times negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4, times negative 1 is negative 4, and negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. So I have negative 2 plus 4, which is 0. So my next order pair on my table is negative 2, 0. Then I'm going to work my way down to my next point. I have x given of negative 1. This time I'm going to replace x with negative 1 in my quadratic equation. So I have negative, negative 1 squared minus 2 times negative 1, and we're using order of operations here. We're making sure we're doing exponents first. Um, negative 1 squared, negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. Then I'm doing multiply to get negative 1. And negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. So I get negative 1 plus 2, which is 1. So when my x is negative 1, my y would be positive 1. Then we have 0. Let's put 0 in, and 0 tends to make the math very easy because when we're multiplying by 0, a lot goes away. 0 squared is 0. Then we have negative 0. That's weird. There's no such thing as negative 0, so we'll say that's 0 minus 2 times 0. So I get 0 minus 0, or 0 plus 0 for that fact, and we have an output of 0. And our last one to try is an x of 2. I'm sorry, at x of 1, we're going to put in 4 to have negative 1 squared times negative 1, which is negative 1. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Then I have negative 1 minus 2, which gives us negative 3. So when x is 1, y is negative 3. So now I can take the points from this table and I can graph that on a coordinate plane. So I'm going to put in negative 3, negative 3, left 3, down 3, negative 2, 0, I'm going to go left 2, up or down 0, negative 1, 1, 0, 0, and 1, negative 3. And I'm noticing I have this upside down U shape, which is our parabola. So quadratics graph is U shape, it's called parabolas, and sometimes we see this facing upward, Sometimes you see it facing downward, downward like this case. So when we're given x values, uh, we can find y values using our quadratic, and then we graph it on a coordinate plane, and we get this nice U-shaped parabola. I hope that helps you guys with graphing quadratic equations using tables. Have a great day. OUT spells out.